today is chest shoulders and tries and i think for today i'm gonna start off with doing shoulders i don't know because i really want my shoulders to get bigger than my chest because i've seen like as i cut down like my chest is going um it's getting like it's still there like you know it's still um beefy and it's like my chest i've grown my chest i guess you could say like it's pretty much there if i want bigger shoulders like my shoulders is like one of the biggest main points of like a physique that will literally give you like that v-shaper and make you seem like you're really bigger than you actually are like the shoulders back and upper chest is the most important thing aesthetically wise not saying that you can't care about your arms or your triceps and you know honestly i gotta put some work on those too if you just really want to achieve that aesthetic physique it really starts with your shoulders upper chest and back and by v-taper what i mean is like that it's like a shape of a V, like a Dorito. Imagine your back just being a Dorito. Like, that's what it is. I don't want to be one of those people, like, because, you know, you're big. You're still going to be big, right? But if you're mostly dominant in your bicep and triceps and your shoulders aren't as big, it's like your shoulder, your biceps and triceps are bigger than your shoulders. It's like you don't really, I like, it's not as aesthetically pleasing, as you can say. Everyone has the different goals. You know, for instance, I am not trying to be motherfucking, um, uh, Mr. Olympia, I'm not gonna hop on steroids or anything like that. I'm not worried about looking like the biggest, beefiest dude in the world. I will have to bulk and keep doing that so that I could grow and get bigger. But I'm just trying to be more of like the aesthetic look of like lower weight, lean body, you know, just like, you know, like almost like a, a model physique, I guess you could say. But that's enough yapping, bro. I just got out of work. It's around, what is it, like 2, 215, 220. Um, I stopped by the, the motherfucking Dollar Tree to get a. This is my favorite gum, bro, to get a pack of gum. I like to chew gum during my workout. Um, I like to chew gum for my breath and everything like that. But another thing is, like, having deodorant on you and actively, actively using it during a workout. Let, let's, let's, let's make that cool. Let, let's make that cool, please, because I walk around people, and, bro, I'm telling you, they leave a stench. Like, I'll be right here. The dude walks by. He's all the way past the gym. Let's say he left the gym. I still smell him. I'm like, damn, what the fuck? Like, like you smell that bad? So let, let's make that cool. Let's, let's let's start using cologne. I always use a cologne midway during my workout. Before and midway. I'm not going to lie. I'm not somebody that's going to be stinking. And I'm not somebody that's going to spray that so much cologne that it's like, bro, you're killing me. Um, I, I keep it subtle. First, when I first started working out, it was like one to two sprays. And then like midway in my workout, I'm going to go. and Because I carry my bag with me now. So I another two sprays. And I have a spray deodorant. So I put that on. And that, that's it, bro. I smell good. I'm not a stinky ass dude like the rest of these people. Let's make smelling good in the gym and pr uh, prioritizing um deodorant cool got it another thing i think people have beef with showers that's my honest take about this shit too it's like i think people don't like water i think they they think there's something there scientifically proven that if you don't take a shower that um i don't fucking know it's like it's like i i don't i don't obfuscate for not taking a shower it's like and i don't cut slack me either if you're in the gym and you're at like a gym where you pay forty dollars a month the new gym I go to, you might as well take your ass to Planet Fitness and fucking go there. Because if there's showers there, you take a fucking shower. Like, it's just none of that. I'm not cutting slack. I'm sorry. So, rule of thumb, use deodorant and cologne. Don't smell like shit, bro. I'm telling you, I'm tired of these people smelling fucking active dog shit. Just smell like sweat and just like musk. Like, fucking disgusting. We work out today. We only got um, a Rice Krispie treat because, bro, my face is like breaking out. Like, that's not a breakout right there, but like, as you can see, bro, like my face isn't, it's breaking out because of the amount of pre that I used, and I believe it's because of the sleep that I get. Like lately, I'm, I'm keeping it real. Last last night was the most amount of hours that I had gotten on Monday through Friday of last week. It was like five hours, bro. Like, and that's it. That is just Sundays I get to sleep in, so I get my full eight, but it's like, bro, I literally have five hours of sleep. So I think that's like one of the reasons for my breakout, bro. Like, you know, I've been taking care of myself, but I also think it's because of pre-workout, bro. Pre-workout is like a big thing that could, could break you out. A lot of people don't know that because there's a lot of sugar in it and everything like that. Whether you're taking like the energy pre or you're just taking the scoop pre, whatever it is, I know that it definitely breaks you out. And I know this for a fact because um, when I was experiencing pretty bad acne after I was off Accutane, I literally stopped taking pre for like let's say like i believe it was like two and a half weeks i was only drinking coffee and coffee is something big for me too because i put a little creamer in so i try to stay away from that now basically i got off of pre for like three weeks and my skin started to glow again right back to like normal skin so i'm gonna do that you know i might man i, I love pre the, the big thing about this is like i got a low-key a little bit of a pre addiction as of right now i mean like it's not saying that i can't trim without pre but it's like i want to take pre-workout like that's my shit like i like i love the feeling of like low key like you know when you you know when you first started pre and you like low key itchy a little bit like you're looking around like what the fuck <laughs> like i love that feeling like i'm not gonna lie i haven't experienced that in a while so i guess it's like 
I'm, I guess I can say for to, now, I'm going to go for like a two week, I guess you can say, without pre. Um, not, not saying without caffeine because I, I won't put creamer in my coffee and I won't take pre for the next two weeks. So I'm going to see how my skin goes. I know I'm going to be glowing again, but it's just like, bro, I love taking pre before the gym. But, you know, I'm going to take these Rice Krispies. I'm going to eat this. Um, this has actually 250 calories. It was pretty much of a bigger one. So um, this should hold me off. It's quick, simple carbs. And um, I've actually ate rice and chicken and a little bit of steak this morning um for my lunch so like 11 o'clock that's when i ate and um yeah so i'll catch you at the gym today's back shoulders and triceps i said back chest shoulders and triceps i don't know what i'm gonna start on i probably will start on with my shoulders just to get some uh just to see how it goes for today so uh i'll catch you guys at the gym <laughs> Now we eating steak, remember sleeping on the floor We're still in at the gas station when the time was cold In the kitchen, hot still trying to flip it out the stove Rocking fake J's, praying that nobody know Watch him take my dog away, it was way too hard to stay composed Fight to see the light of day, all this blood on my clothes I was tired every day, green light, it's time to go I don't wanna live life fast or die too young Die too young Hundred miles per hour, I might crash cause a good die young Yeah, a good die young Push it to the limit, I can't go no more Red light, no way I'm coming back home Long dirt road all on my own I'ma be the greatest, write my name in the stone Write my name in the stone Yeah, I'm coming back home Yeah, I'm coming back home Write my name in the stone Cause I'm coming back home Cause I'm coming back home Cause I know my people needed me Diamond in the rough, I don't know what it is they see in me Go down as a legend in my city Cause we beat the streets Trying to spread the wealth around the block No, I can't keep from me Told me I should leave I see the bigger picture and it's way bigger than me Can't be living like a king But my people need to eat If I got it, then you got it We gon' get back on our feet And I put it on me I don't wanna live life fast Or die too young Or die too young Hundred miles per hour might crash Cause good die young yeah, but here I come Push it to the limit, I can't go no more Red light, no way, I'm coming back home Long dirt road all on my own I'ma be the greatest, write my name in the stone Write my name in the stone Yeah, I'm coming back home Yeah, I'm coming back home Write my name in the stone Cause I'm coming back home Cause I'm coming back home Push 
push it to the limit, I can't go no more Red light, no way, I'm coming back home Long dirt road all on my own I'ma be the greatest, try my name in the stone Run my name in the stone Yeah, I'm coming back home Yeah, I'm coming back home Run my name in the stone Cause I'm coming back home Cause I'm coming back home Just got out the gym, man. Now I'm at Chipotle. I'm about to show y'all what I get. I showed y'all in a previous video, but um, I'm trying to cut down a little more calories, bro. I've seen my abs, bro. My abs are really going in crazy. I'm losing a lot more fat. Um, I, I just really felt like I want to talk about this lift because this lift actually got me mad. We were just starting off, right? To start off, we did like the incline presses, bro. I normally do 70 for seven. Like my highest was nine. And today I had gotten six. So I was like, yo, what the fuck? Why I feel weak, right? I don't really cut slack for myself, but it was like the bench was like, it was one of those weird ass fucking benches. After I got six, I was angry. Like, I don't know. Every little thing was getting me mad. So the bench, I'm looking at the bench. The, the, it doesn't have the adjustable to go down because like, you know, I do it on a, like, I don't know what type of angle it is, but like normally like the third setting, third or fourth setting is what I do the incline on. This shit is like almost like a, a shoulder head press. I'm like, bro. Like, you know, so I, I cut a little slap because it's, like, really high on the presses. So, like, you know, the higher you go, you know, obviously you're not going to show the press what you incline for the most part. I'm, I'm tight, bro. I'm like, yo, why the fuck does this little-ass bench doesn't have the adjustable thing? So I'm literally there getting mad. I'm not going to lie. And then I get onto my dips, right? Normally my dips, I would do the 70s for, I hit a top set of 7, and I'm trying to build up on that. And today I'd gotten it for, like, 4 or 5. I'm like, what the fuck what's going on and i've realized this because i'm not getting as much sleep in and i'm not getting as much calories as i was i once was so i'm not really tripping on that part but losing your strength and seeing that shit go down a little bit it will aggravate you like i'm telling you almost every little fucking thing was getting me mad right like for me to put my incline press right to do incline press you know you have to kick the the dumbbells off of like your your um your sweat like your shorts and shit right like the dumbbells are so fucking rusty and nasty that they literally stained my fucking gray sweatpants. I'm gray shorts, and I'm like, bro, like to be real, these are one of my favorites. But I'm like, bro, like, like every little thing was getting me mad. Um, I, I finished off my chest day though. Like, I had gotten a nice pump from the the flies, and I'm thinking I might change the way I've trained, like you know, for more higher reps and just like you know, because I was doing that before. And my pumps were always insane, but you know, just like doing moderate to like heavier weight, but like for higher reps from like 12 to like. 15 like each set like trying to get like higher reps instead of like you know almost training for like strength i'm kind of i'm kind of going for right now i guess or i'm just trying to like maintain my strength honestly because i've literally done the stuff um just like two three weeks ago like i was hitting 70 for a pr of nine reps so i'm like i was so fucking happy but then i switched gyms and these weights feel so much heavier too so it's all just like a something to get used to too but um, I'm about to head into this fucking Chipotle really soon because, bro, this shit looking packed right now. My lateral raises, I did not really feel the muscle. Like, I didn't feel like, I feel as if I was doing it right, but I didn't feel like a crazy pump. I just seemed like my arms just getting, like, pumped, but I didn't feel it until, like, I dropped down to the 15s and I did them sat down, like, as you saw, and I was pumping them out for, like, 
I did like 20 reps a set or even more. I don't even remember just counting. And my pump was getting there, you know, so like like 20 pounds onto the, the thing. And just like, that's like a moderate rate, uh, moderate weight. And just like going for like 15, 20 reps, you know, pushing those reps and just like, you know, I might train the style, change up the style. But like, you know, I've heard a lot of people said when you're cutting, you shouldn't change up your style because like, you know, stuff like that, like you're losing strength, you're losing muscle and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm still, it's just like a work in progress of me thinking of like what, what style I should take in because I'm going to be very excited for this bulk. Like even no matter what style I do, I'm going to get really fucking strong, right? Because I want, my ultimate goal is for like, you know, this next upcoming bulk is to like fucking do like 85, 90s on incline presses and then like lat and then overhead press like 70, 75, right? Most I've done was like 65s for like six. I like peak bulk of like 170 but like then i wasn't eating that well i wasn't getting as much sleep and right now like i, I feel fatigued and i feel a little weaker because i didn't get as much sleep right but i didn't get as much sleep and i'm not getting as much calories as i normally would i'm, I'm eating in a little bit of a deficit but i still taking my rest days in which i should be getting stronger but it's really that sleep i know that it's fucking with me because i'd never felt like this you know even when i was cutting and kept cutting kept cutting i was actually progressive overloading and getting stronger on each lift i'm, I'm gonna show y'all what i'm gonna get at chipotle really fast i forgot to show y'all what i got online but we got lettuce cheese corn tomatoes i put some <laughs> onions and peppers chicken and brown rice oh i got the new chicken too so i want to try that what's up y'all so this is a few days after the video of um that i this is what what video is this this is a back and bicep no this is chest and something chest and shoulders and uh basically you're seeing this clip after the chipotle clip and i didn't get to finish off the video because even throughout that whole video, I didn't get to pose to do a lot of my posing because my phone was on 1% for a little while. So, you know, um, that was that. But I didn't make an outro though. So, you know, I'm starting to try to make, uh, upload daily, trying to do like a daily upload thing where, um, you know, especially like today, Saturday. So I'm trying to get as much like um, editing done and the same thing for Sunday so that Monday, Monday through Friday isn't as hectic. You feel me? The like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll leave the latest video that I've just put, uploaded right here. And uh, you guys enjoy. So stay yourself. Stay 300. Whatever you do in life. Trust me. I believe in you, bro.